Many schools pride themselves on having family traditions, but Northeastern backs that up with four alumni head coaches in the athletic department. You know, when I was a student athlete here at the university, I think all our dreams are when you're playing at the Division One level is to continue to play you know, some level of professional hockey. And certainly I quickly realized as I was entering my junior year, you know, professional hockey at a high level was probably not gonna be in, in the cards, but I still enjoyed the game so much that I realized that, hey, I want to be involved in the sport at some, at some capacity and thought that coaching would be a great opportunity to still stay involved in the game. Never in my wildest dreams that I think I would ever come back here as the head coach, but I always knew that I wanted to be a part of Northeastern University in some way and whether it just being a great alum or, or, or being involved with the program in, in different ways that I could help out. Knowing that I could you know, be a part of the program that made me who I was was just the defining point, you know, and I, I'd had success at both the places I was at, but just to come back and be a part of you know, what I did and hopefully you know, bring this program back to the experiences I had is something that you know, I wanted to do and, and pursue. There was something about coaching that felt like home. It felt like a part of my life. It was definitely work and it felt like work at the end of the day, but it felt like an extension of something I had always done. The athletic department has drastically changed over the years. Northeastern has invested in new locker rooms, new training facilities, and state-of-the-art gear for all of its sports teams. What we joke about now with a lot of the alumni is the struggle, which really wasn't even that bad, but seeing how much our athletes are given, how much they have access to, how much the training room has improved. We shared bats, we, we'd hit and we'd leave the bat at home plate, and sometimes we were sharing gloves and borrowing things from each other. You had one set of uniforms. Back then we didn't have practice gear and, and we were given sticks, but you know the travel was much, much different. We have a fantastic facility and, and meeting room and, and all of those things are enhancing the player experience. You know, to, to have the, the field at Dedham and, and it's just a beautiful facility and, and our locker room and team room is, is state of the art and and we're really proud of it. Being a commuter-based school, uh, you know, students came and went. Now that we have that residential-based campus, you know, athletics plays more of an integral role in those students' uh, experiences here at Northeastern. It's cool to be seen at a, at a hockey game and a basketball game. With so much invested in the department and a renewed commitment to a winning culture, Northeastern has had never-before-seen success across several of its teams to be able to follow you know, Fernie for 19 years and, and Don, who was a head coach for two years, but 21 years at the university, uh, means an awful lot to me because those two gentlemen were Northeastern hockey. They helped create the buzz and the excitement and the culture that Northeastern hockey had. When you win the Beanpot, it's a bond that you walk together forever. Second best is to win it as a coach, uh, and to be part of a coaching staff that wins it. Don't get me wrong, players win. They win every single day, but to be able to have a part of it as a coaching staff is, is fun. Winning this thing is the ultimate goal, and to be able to bring it back to Huntington Avenue is something that uh, our young men did a great job of, and uh, I was thrilled that all parties of the university were able to experience. I distinctly remember being at conference this year and it came down to the last event for the women and the men pretty much had it sewn up at that point and you knew we were about to win but sitting back and watching my assistants and watching the athletes enjoy it was the experience that brought me the most joy out of that one. In 94 we you know we won the conference championship and we, and we made it to a regional you know it was quite an experience as a player you're just so in the moment you're so focused on what you've accomplished and, and just being able to celebrate that moment with your teammates. As a coach, it was a different feeling. We weren't sure if we were going to be able, we were going to get into the tournament, and so we're there watching the selection show, and then when they show your name, the pure excitement of everybody in that room. As a coach, you're able to share that with everybody in that room, and I think you're able to take a much bigger look at what happened. I just really like building the relationships with the student athletes, you know, and just kind of seeing them grow throughout their career. They come in and they're scared and they're, they have to transition so much these days, getting them to recognize their fullest potential as a person. Instilling that confidence and empowering young women, I think, is really what drives me as a coach. See them come in as a little bit naive young, young men and freshmen and watch their maturation, development, and their growth over a four-year period is just tremendous, as I said, 
rewarding. What kept me in coaching is the opportunity to give back the experience I had to someone else and being able to motivate them enough that they take full advantage of it and are able to represent everything that you would hope Northeastern University represented. So that was one of the best moments I've had.